The foam stars are currently engaged in defending the energy cores in each area of Bath Vegas from the onslaught of bubble beasties. Citizens in the affected zones should evacuate. Okay, we've got to defend this point. Quinn, the beasties are coming! Don't worry, you should have no problem fighting them off with that assault foam gun. Why do I have to go up against things like this? Um, weren't you listening? Only Foam Star's foam guns work against Bubble Beast. Gwen, out. And then she disconnected from the call. Her name was Penny Gwyn. While the rest of Foam Stars prepared to defend the city from Bubble Beasties, Gwyn had a different agenda. Perhaps it had something to do with her participation in Foam Stash. Shut down her comms. What is that girl thinking? My goal in coming to Bath Vegas is not to fight those creatures. I have but one goal. It's to save my home, Antarctica from sinking due to climate change. And to do that, I must do one thing. Win from Smash. The human world revolves around me. Once I have the prize money, my objective will be within easy reach. Hey, is that Tonics calling me again? <laughs> No, it's Master Odory. Master Odory is an extraordinary 283-year-old Odory. He and his disciple, Gwyn, have a remarkably strong bond. A bond so strong... That Gwyn can even understand Master Odory's eerie noises. It's good to hear from you, Master. Hmm, it's been a while, hasn't it? Naturally. I had predicted that you'd make the long journey to... Bath Vegas. You knew? I... This is a situation that calls for the deployment of my elite penguin squad. Together with your bubble penguin comrades, you shall prevail. Thank you, Master. nearby and they're stronger than before hmm. have a care young Gwyn all right threat eliminated as sharp as ever Gwyn you still have my seal of approval I never would have qualified for Foam Smash if it weren't for you training me. You have my sincere gratitude. <sighs> That's all very well, Gwyn. Yet, I must ask why you refuse to fight the beasties. Do you lack confidence? No, I simply do not have a reason to. I'm here to save Antarctica, not wait. Huh? You dummy dum-dum! <laughs> Master! What do you suppose will happen if the beasties destroy the cores? Not only Antarctica, but the entire planet will be annihilated! 
What? I had no idea. Think about it. This is no time to be wringing your flippers. Or hands, as humans would say. Think about it. You must defend the energy cores to save your brethren and the planet. Master Odori's words hit home. <sighs> was how Gwyn expressed her surprise in her native tongue. The Foam Stars are currently engaged in defending the energy cores in each area of Bath Vegas from the onslaught of bubble beasties. Citizens in the affected zones should evacuate. Then it's decided. I shall save the planet. You must, Gwyn. I shall not bring shame to penguin kind. You shall face defeat, you brazen bubble beasties! I sense approaching prey. It's a small beastie heart. Do you remember how to use the toboggan bomb? Yes. I send off my bubble comrades to pile up on top of the enemy. Precisely so. Win. Good luck in battle. Determined to save the planet, Penny Gwyn engaged the enemy in fierce battle. And it wasn't only Master Otary who was watching her closely from Antarctica. Ah, who was it this time? Penguin Pentley was her younger brother, which of course means that his squawks and chatter were perfectly comprehensible to Gwyn. Your voice, and I miss you too. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. How's the ice sheet back home? The ice? It's melting away. <laughs> Being everyone's darling, Henry was growing up to be a carefree boy. Even the threat of the polar ice melting wouldn't wipe the smile off his beak. <laughs> it was just the way he was. As I feared, how much ice has been lost since I left? But our home's now just like a little ice float. You know what I mean? We all have to snuggle together so as not to fall off. It's just like being a black brush our train. Wait, what? What are you talking about? 
talking about, Pendley? I saw it on the internet. People being packed in like yummy sardines. Internet? What? Yeah, <laughs> we can get on the internet now, Gwyn. Just like humans. After you left, you fished a lost tablet out of the water. And it's got Wi-Fi. It's so cool. <laughs> Cover since I left my homeland. It is a matter of urgency that I win Foam Smash. There's no other way for me to save my home and the rest of the planet. That's only going to upset the snake. Excellent, Gwyn. Excellent. You fight like a Navy SEAL. <sighs> Haven't you been trying to stop the global climate breakdown in other ways, too? Yes. I have petitioned the industries destroying our planet to stop. A lot of human activity is far from eco-friendly. And what if the big businesses refuse to comply with your request? I'll call forth the Penguin Army. I'll pay them a visit. I sense further trouble. There are more, and they're attacking the unattended Core 3. You keep your flipper on the pulse of this battle from half the world over. Astonishing, yes, but I'm urging you to hurry. Got it. Let's cut back to Tonics and her grandma. I can't wrap my head around this. Uh, what? The question of what Penny Gwyn really is. She says she represents the polar penguins, but she looks human to me. Yeah. They never could have guessed that Gwyn's identity would soon be revealed. We have identified a change in pattern of the bubble beasties attacking the energy cores in Bath Vegas. They currently appear to be massing for an assault on Core 3, located in the center of town. This is Gwyn. I've arrived at the next base. Resuming mission operations. Hey, Penny! Huh. Why are 
you here, Melty? Choosing to go solo, yet Melty still came to your aid. You're lucky to have caring allies. I have allies? When thought about it for a moment. Enabling communication channel. Can you hear me, Tonics? Win? You're back online! Is it? Affirmative. I'm fine. I wish to apologize for refusing to talk to you. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about it. My family lives on the South Pole. Seriously? Yes. They're treading on thin ice. Literally. I initially signed up for Foam Smash to use my winnings to restore the ice cap. I had no intention of participating in any other battles. But now, I realize that our parents' fate depends on the outcome of this battle. And so, I shall fight. Whoa! Well, that's good to know. You sound cross. Well, I'm just kind of peed off by your mysterious ways. I'm Penny Gwyn, here to represent all polar people. How do you represent penguin? You're human. I'm not human. I'm a penguin. Penguin have followed her to Bath Vegas. Ah! Oh? Ah! Is, is this really you? Mom! It was none other than Wynn's dear mother. A penguin, of course. While her calls were indecipherable to humans, Wynn had no trouble whatsoever in understanding them. Ha! Well, we can understand them too, actually. Wait, what?
but what are you doing here, Mother? Lynn's mother wouldn't have made the long trip without a good reason. And that reason was... Relieved that you're unhurt, Gwen. Mother. Oh, I have had my misgivings about you leaving, dear. I knew that one day you'd fly the nest, or rather... Mm, walk away from it, since we penguins don't fly. We... penguins? Gwen? I must tell you something. Yes, Mother? You see, darling, the truth is that you are adopted. I'm... I'm what? Mother, what are you saying? Gwen's reaction seemed rather over the top to her teammates. It was glaringly obvious. However, Gwyn was genuinely shocked by the unexpected revelation. Did... Did you hatch me from another penguin's egg? Darling, you are... a human. <gasps> I will never forget that morning. The day I met you. A strange object, drifting on the waves, caught my eye. It was a Moses basket, with you in it. Your father and I searched everywhere we could for your human parents. Oh, we really tried. But we couldn't find anyone. In the end, we decided it was best to raise you by ourselves. And we welcomed you to our penguin family. <laughs>